Put your hands together for our awesome pastor of this church, Dr. Reverend Gerald Kiner. Thank God for Pastor Kiner being our shepherd and allowing us to use our gifts. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost. The most, the most, the most is the Holy Ghost. Everything minutes away that he said is all because of the Holy Ghost allow whatever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost on this morning. So glad to be in the house of the Lord. So glad to be saved for real. I'm not worried about anybody else's salvation, but I'm making sure I'm working on mine. But this word is going to help me and it's going to help you as well. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. And as you're turning... I just thank God on today. I'm going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, this morning, Lord God. Allow your word to perfect and edify me and your children on today, God. Your spirit and not my flesh. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. If you will, look on with your neighbor if you can. Hallelujah. The word of God reads in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor on today, say, Neighbor, it's a must that you put your trust in God. Tell your other neighbor, say, Neighbor, it's a must that you put your trust in God. Hallelujah. This is the Proverbs of Solomon on today, the son of David. And I want to look at some scriptures on today that we can trust in on this morning. Go with me to Psalms 37, 3 and 4 in your Bible or write it down on today. Psalm 37, 3 and 4 and the word of God reads, trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And I stop by to tell us on today, if you have not got what is in your heart, your trust is in the Lord. It may just not be time. You may have been out of line, but put your trust in in the Lord. It's a must that you put your trust in the Lord. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 9, 23 through 24, it says, Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory, glory, hallelujah, in this, that he understand it and knoweth me that I am the Lord, which exercise love and kindness, judgment, righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Tell your neighbors to neighbor. It's a must that you put your trust in God. You can be five years old. You can be 95 years old. But it is a must that you put your trust in God. You might not have anything on this morning. But when you put your trust in God, you got more things to have tamed being in the army of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, look at with me if you will. I heard one of the saints, they read this on today. I think it was Sister Kamitra, Psalm 23, 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leading me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run it over surely goodness and mercy God is the one that builds up our friendships. God is the one that build up our kingdom marriages but you gotta have your trust in the Lord you can't put your trust in yourself you can't put your trust in your friend you can't put your trust on a sinner but you gotta put your trust in the Lord in God we trust I come by to tell you on this morning the government had enough common sense to put in we in God we trust on the dollar bill on the five dollar on the ten dollar on the 
$20, on a $50, on a $100. They have it written, in God we trust. If they got enough sense to put their trust in God, we should have enough sense to put our trust in the word of God and in the ways of God and in the things of God. Do anybody believe the word of God on today? Let me look at it for the law of the biblical way. It's an arrangement whereby a person or a trustee holds property as it is nominal owner for the good of one or more beneficiary. Do you not know on this morning that you are a beneficiary of the word of God? That you benefit from the promises of God? That you benefit from the commandments of God? It's a must that we put our trust in the Lord. God had us in mind even before the foundation of the world, Mother Williams. He set up a trust for all of us saints uh, that are saved before the foundation of the world. For us to be beneficiaries, this thing had already been established before there was an earth form. Before there was a Jesus people, Pastor Kina. God had already established this thing for us to put our trust in the Lord. God had us on his mind way back before the beginning of time uh, and God already knew what we were going to go through on this journey in, in this life. God knew our ups and our downs and our ins and our outs and our comings and our goings but you must put your trust in the Lord. God will build you up friendships that will allow you to be able to entrust people like Pastor kind of delegates to us to be able to run this ministry, to be able to do kingdom business. God will build you up to be able to delegate people to handle your personal affairs. God will delegate other people that believe in Christ. He's not going to send you no shysty, low-down, dirty man or woman in your life to be entrusted. But you got to put your trust in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, put your trust in the Lord. I said it earlier, we're all beneficiaries. When it pertains to the kingdom of God, the things of God, the fruit of God, the spirit of God, the love of God, the promises of God, the peace of God. God has allowed us, Reverend, spiritual credit because he wants us to be sure to maintain our natural credit. Yeah, we got to work on the natural credit. You got to get that number up to 700, 800 in the natural. But don't lose your mind trying to work on your credit. Put your trust in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, there's a must that you put your trust in God. We got people right in this ministry. Credit score was busting at whatever the number was. It wasn't even meeting man's criteria. But because they trusted in the Lord, Sister Cornita, the woman was able to go get a car with 25 cents down. We got some saints in the house of the Lord that was able to get vehicles with zero money down. But you got to put your trust in the Lord. I'm talking to my own self. The Bible said, oh, no man, nothing but love, Reverend. Uh, and I don't like paying bills anyway because I'm small. Uh, but you got to put your trust in the Lord. Uh, and I'm right here on the edge saying, I want a new car, God, but I don't want a new bill, Lord God. Uh, and I ain't begging nobody to do nothing for me. Uh, but because my trust is in the Lord, uh, I got to step on out there and receive what thus said the Lord. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you must put your trust in the Lord. Uh, you cannot depend on yourself. Uh, you got to depend on the word of God. Uh, you got to depend on the power of God. Uh, you got to depend on the anointing of God. Uh, you got to depend on the faith that you have in God. Uh, your faith is not my faith. Uh, and my faith is not your faith. Uh, but it's a must that we trust in the Lord. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must that we trust uh, in the Lord God Almighty. Uh, I want to tell you a testimony before I go head on. Uh, there was a little bitty baby boy uh, born in February of last year. Uh, and he called my grandson uh, named Isaiah Lavelle Carter. Uh, and me being a servant, uh, I call on the Lord. Uh, I want to tell you this so you can kind of laugh. Uh, I had a little talk with Jesus first. Uh, and I connected my pastor in my prayer. Uh, and I reached out to Pastor Kiner. Uh, I know the deal was sealed. Uh, I told the Lord, Sister Adams, uh, I said, Lord, I know you ain't going to let this baby and this adoption uh, end the way that it's ending. Uh, I'm like the mother Lois, and he's like the boy named Timothy in the Word. Uh, but because I put my trust in the Lord, uh, the man of God told me the deal was already sealed. Uh, but I believe God before I even call you. 
but I wanted to be connected to somebody else uh, that trusted in the Lord. Uh, and then the saints praying to her. Uh, well, the baby mother was in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, where my corporate office is located. Uh, and he was with a family that was not of us. Uh, I wouldn't have cared if they'd have been polka dotted or striped. Uh, but I put my trust in the Lord. Uh, and I sat at my table uh, and I said, Lord, I know uh, it ain't going in this way. Uh, even if it did, uh, I would still have to obey God. Uh, but because God love us enough, because uh, God let us serve enough, because uh, God believe in us, uh, believing in him, uh, believing in his word, uh, believing in his power, you got to put your trust in the Lord. So this tangible stuff ain't nothing. It's really a blessing in disguise. Uh, but you got to put your trust in the Lord. Uh, whatever you need from the Lord on this week, uh, I speak as a prophet. Uh, you better go and pick it up uh, on this week. Uh, I decree, uh, I declare, uh, ain't no devil going to stop us. Uh, it's a must uh, that we put our trust in the Lord. Uh, put your trust in the Lord God Almighty. The baby is back in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, they wrestled with him for a little while. Uh, but God didn't let them wrestle too long. Uh, and we brought them on back home. Uh, put your hands together for the Lord on today. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you must put your trust uh, in the Lord God Almighty. Uh, I told you this relationship was already established uh, before the foundation of the world. Uh, that we're all beneficiaries. Uh, let me make it plain. Uh, if you got any type of insurance policy, uh, Dealing with a funeral or home going or a burial uh, and somebody dies. Uh, John don't die, uh, but John don't left his son, John don't junior in charge uh, as a beneficiary uh, because Jesus got up uh, with all power in his hand. Uh, you're the beneficiary uh, of receiving what thus said the Lord. Uh, whether it be salvation, uh, whether it be healing, uh, whether it be a home, uh, whether it be a husband. Uh, whether it be a baby, uh, you are the beneficiary uh, of being a beneficiary uh, of how the Lord uh, allowed us to be in charge. Uh, tell your brother or your sister, uh, your name is on the dotted line. Uh, Jesus' hand is your co-signer. Uh, put your trust uh, in the Lord God. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must uh, that you put your trust uh, in the Lord God. Uh, hallelujah, Lord God. Uh, the word says, uh, trust in the Lord uh, with all thine heart uh, and lean not uh, to thy own understanding. Uh, let me give you an example. In all thy ways, uh, acknowledge him uh, and he shall direct thy path. Uh, Brother Cedric, uh, as my son Eddie coming, uh, complaining and talking about committing suicide and talking to me and crying, uh, talking to me and fussing, uh, all at the same time, uh, I was holding God's hand, uh, and God was holding mine. Uh, I had not one doubt uh, that God will work it out. Uh, when I talked to him the first time, uh, that was the last time uh, about that baby uh, coming back home. Uh, Ella was mad. Uh, Ella was fussing. Uh, Ella was cussing. Uh, but I told him, uh, you think God going to let this go like this? Uh, you got to put your trust uh, in the Lord, Eddie Carter, uh, I raised you in Jesus. Uh, you got to come back to Jesus. Uh, whether they roll you in uh, or you walk in. Uh, one day, Pastor Carter, uh, one day, y'all, uh, my son gonna walk in uh, or God will roll him in. Uh, but I'm still, uh, I'm still uh, gonna have my trust uh, in the Lord. Uh, did I say I be hurt? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, if he don't obey God, uh, but I'm still uh, going to trust uh, in the Lord. Uh, no matter what comes, uh, rain, shine, uh, sleet or snow, uh, broke or blessed, uh, up or down, uh, in or out. Uh, you like me or you don't, uh, but I like you. Uh, I'm still uh, going to put, uh, going to put, uh, going to put all my trust in the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't go for bad, but ain't never scared. Want me tell you why? Because I'm always praying. I'm always trusting. 
I'm always believing huh? even when doubt shows up huh? I'm still praying huh? in the face of doubt huh? I'm still lying out huh? in the face of doubt huh? that's why uh, you must uh, put your trust uh, in the Lord pandemic came jobs closed down everybody walking in fear that's an example for you you can't put your trust in people you got to put God's trust on people they walking in the Lord uh, you got to trust them through God uh, that's why you get so many broken hearts. Huh? Got you put your trust in him or me. Huh? Put your trust, honey, huh? in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Cause the Holy Ghost is upon them if they saved. Huh? Put your trust huh? in the Lord God Almighty. And he'll show up huh? right in the nick of time. Cause he's always on time. The Bible says huh, in 1 John 5, huh, and I'm almost done. Uh, 14 through 15. Uh, and this is the conf confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hear us. And if we know that he hear us, uh, whatsoever we ask, uh, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. If he don't ask that means you don't need an answer. If he don't show up, he don't need to show up right now. Because God is a God that shows up when he get ready. But when your faith meets your prayer and they come together, God has already assigned a month, day, and a year for it to manifest in your life. What you need is not what I need. What I need is not what you need. But we all must put... I trust in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must that you put your trust in God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Try him at his word. Try him at his word. Hallelujah, Lord God. Let me go back. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Have confidence in the word. Thank you, Lord God. Try him at his word. Have you ever tried him at his word? Didn't he do it before? He can do it again. Your life ain't over, honey, because you're not married no more to that man or that woman. Your life not over. Don't be bitter. That was an opportunity for you to learn something. Move on to your next husband or your next wife. Your life is not over. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, my life is not over because my trust is in the Lord. Y'all better stop letting the devil bust your head about being divorced. God allowed you to be divorced for a reason. Because y'all would end up killing each other or going to jail. And that's not going to glorify the Lord. Showing out, acting a fool, putting your trust in yourself and not in the Lord. We only show out because we put trust in our flesh. When we trust in him, we're not going to be showing out. Because God going to show up. You can't tell me you can't be married and be at peace. The devil is a liar. My mama didn't have no man in our house, but I'm here. So I know you can have peace in your home if you're married. I wasn't taught that, but I learned that through the word of God because I put my trust in the Lord. Be around people always complaining about everything. The barbecue on the grill, they want pork and you buy beef. Make up your mind. Eat the beef that I barbecue. Stop complaining about everything. You got too much salt. You ain't got enough salt. Make up your mind. Put your trust in the Lord. Be glad we got some meat to eat. Stop complaining about everything. Finding any little thing to complain about. Oh, I can't put this on because it got a little spot and they going to see it. If they looking that hard, honey, tell them to get you some cleaning, a cleaning agent or put it in the cleaners. We got to put our trust in the Lord. Stop finding every little thing to complain about. Finding any type of fault in people. Stop trying to find fault. Find the mote in your own eye. Matter of fact, you got a beam in there while you're trying to get my mote out. Because I'm not worried about you. I'm praying for you. Because my trust is in the Lord. I know we're going to fail. I know we're going to mess up. I know we're going to confess up. If we see it, say 
We're going to confess our sins. One to another, you can confide and not be gossiping. It's somebody in the body of Christ you can trust. You're going to tell them your business. They ain't going to run all over the whole church because their trust is in the Lord. You can confide in them without them telling everybody. This is not Channel 3 News. This is not 24 News. It's not Channel 30. So when somebody come to confide, they shortcoming or they mess up. Keep your mouth. Pray. It's not for you to go gossip. Oh, girl, you know what Sister Tosha told me? Girl, Sister Tosha went down there by the river, girl, and they had some drinks and this and that. She didn't have no drinks. I'm just using her as an example because I can. When people come to confide in us, God is entrusting us. As Sister Adams have said in time past, we got to put our trust in the Lord. We undergird people like a girdle. We hold the church up. We perfect the church. We edify the body of Christ. We're not here to destroy or hurt anybody. Because we all need Jesus. And if we practice keeping our mouths closed and pray more, the church will grow more. Put your trust in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must that we put our trust in the Lord. Be like an old refrigerator. It don't even work. Can't hold nothing. Tell everything. Tell it to the Lord. Minister William was doing shacking. Tell the Lord I was shacking. You can't do nothing about it no way. Can you? No, you cannot. And I'm not bragging. I'm saying I've been there. Pray for me. I got weaknesses too, but my trust still is in the Lord healing and delivering me. And we just be real. I ain't got this thing all right already. I'm still working on it. And it don't matter if I get 69 and I still be working on it. As long as the Lord said, put your trust in the Lord. I'm not going to get delivered the same year you get delivered. You may have been delivered 25 years. Good for you. That's a testimony and I can learn. I can be delivered too. You just got to keep this thing real. Put your trust in the Lord. I know one thing. Love is for real. When you love, you love for real. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love had everybody in this room sins that you've already performed, that you shall perform. Love covers all of that. But we get outside the box trying to point, pick point people's shortcoming, and we need Jesus and need to be trusting God 24-7, our own self. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must that we put our trust in the Lord. To trust in the Lord is one powerful thing. But to believe in God is to have faith or confidence that he exists and he's working on your case. And he's working to help us trust and believe him. He can and will do what his word says. His word goes out and his word does not return void. His word don't return void, Sister Angela, because we don't have enough faith to believe what he said. His word don't go out and come back void. When he's sending it to the earth, it's going to be manifested. But God is not going to force your hands, your body, mind, soul, and spirit to trust him. He's not going to make you trust him. But a situation will come where you will put your trust in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's a must that you put your trust in the Lord. You can trust and believe. Pastor kind of preached one time. Nobody can have it all. So if we can't have it all, we might as well keep on trusting in the Lord. You still must trust and believe in God. Still small voice which speaks loudly when he manifests his word, will, and his way. His blessings, his anointing, his power, his love, his peace, his prosperity. Trust and believe on today, 111. God is not holding nothing or anything against you or me or over our heads. Only mankind does that. They, they were and are sinners, them own selves, needing the same Jesus, Tosha, that we need. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 1, there is no, there is, there is therefore no, now no condemnation to them that which are in Christ Jesus, who walk in not after the flesh, Sister Kamitra, but after the spirit. Jesus is the only one who hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross. He is the only one without sin. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, spend more time trusting and studying the word of God. We will have less time for the devil. The more time we trust and study, we'll have less time for the enemy. Get occupied when trusting the word of God, establishing a relationship with God, and fellowship in God. Put our trust in Jesus. 
He'll make everything all right. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. They sing a song that Jesus has not failed yet. And I come to tell you on today, Sister Darlene, he ain't going to never fail. So they might as well drop the yet. He always shows up and shows out. See, God wants and desires the best for you. It's just that we don't understand what the best is. We got the best based on our own personal definition. But I stopped by to tell you, 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. It's a must that you put your trust in the Lord. 3 John 11 verse says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil had not seen God. We got to learn how to put our trust in the Lord, all the way in the Lord. You know how our anchor goes down to the bottom of the sea, and the sea is deep. You got to anchor your soul. You got to anchor your word. You got to anchor your belief. You got to anchor your trust in the Lord. If they go, bye bye. If they come in, come and have a seat. But you got to anchor your trust in the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We about to wrap it up, Sister Adams. And I don't need that much longer. We're not going to always, Sister Cornita, know the whole entire picture or way. But we just got to trust in the Lord anyway. We got to let him be over our guide and over our instructions. But we got to trust God who holds our future. Moses had to trust God when he spoke through the burning bush. And he told him to go back to Egypt and face Pharaoh, and some of us don't want to face our Pharaohs, but I stopped by to tell you today, you got to go back and face your Pharaoh and tell him to let go of my peace, let go of my praise. We got to go back and face our Pharaohs. We can't be bound, we can't be slaves, but you can read about Moses in Exodus chapter 2. Through chapter 4, uh, read about how God spoke to him uh, in the burning bush. Uh, God wants us uh, to be able to trust him uh, when nobody else uh, is got their mind on trusting him. Uh, you got to be able to trust in the Lord. It's a must uh, that you put your trust in God. Uh, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, uh, Moses trusting him uh, for direction. Uh, let me look at the word right here now. The saints that's in the house uh, came out in the rain. Uh, even though it was raining on the outside, uh, the Holy Ghost is raining on the inside. Uh, but we as Jesus people, uh, we can trust God because uh, God is faithful. Uh, Moses trusts God because uh, God holds the future. Uh, we can trust the minister Wade because uh, he is faithful. Uh, but the Lord is faithful uh, and shall establish you uh, and keep you from evil. Uh, I promise you in 2 Thessalonians uh, 3 and 3, uh, if you don't step your foot uh, to go towards evil, uh, God will keep his angels in count all around you. Uh, and so happen you may be in the way, uh, but God will keep the bullet out of your way. Uh, God will keep the robber out of your way. Uh, but we got to put uh, our trust in the Lord. Uh, keep us out of the way of evil when we trust in his protection. Uh, I told you Moses trusted for direction uh, because he's faithful to Adams. Uh, God will protect us. Uh, and the last one, uh, God is the Father uh, and Jesus is our brother. Uh, but in God the Father, uh, Jesus trusted uh, for his pain and his suffering. Uh, he was bruised and bleeding, uh, hung, bled, and died. Uh, but the Bible says, uh, Jesus said, uh, Father, Father, uh, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, show forgiveness and mercy. Uh, in the midst of his suffering, uh, 
Jesus is uh, teaching us how to, to trust in God uh, for everything, Mother Williams. Uh, it may not come when you want it, uh, but it'll come right on time. Uh, and this is the end. Uh, in Mark chapter 15, around the 34th verse, uh, around the ninth hour, uh, Jesus cried with a loud voice, uh, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathani, uh, Father, why have thou forsaken me? Uh, but at the same time, uh, we can trust in the Lord because uh, we've connected in Christ. Uh, if we say on today, uh, if you want a complete uh, healing on today, uh, if you want a complete uh, deliverance on today, uh, it's a must uh, that you put uh, your trust in God. Uh, he can deliver, uh, he can heal, uh, he can make us whole, uh, but we got to put uh, our trust in the Lord. Uh, Jesus got up, mother, uh, with all power in his hand. Uh, power for us uh, to believe and trust. Uh, tell your neighbors to neighbor, it's a must uh, that you put your trust uh, in the Lord. Uh, he'll do it, he'll do it, he'll do it. Uh, put your hands together for Jesus. He hung, bled, and died and got up with all power in his hand.